Let's compare the decimal 0.1 to 0.9, see which one's greater here. The way to think about this is we're going to go at the tenths place here. So the first place after the decimal, that's the tenths place. Here we have 0.9, so the number in the tenths place, that first number after the decimal, is 9. 9 is greater than 1, so we know that 0.9, that's going to be greater than 0.1. Sometimes you're asked to convert each one to a fraction and then figure out which one's greater. So what we could do, let's call it 0.1 over 1. It's still 1, we're just dividing by 1, but it gives us the start of a fraction. Over here, do the same. And then to get this to be a whole number, I could multiply 10 times 0.1, and that would give me 1. But I also have to multiply the denominator by 10 as well, because 10 over 10 is 1. So we're not changing the value, just the way it's represented. 10 times 0.1, that's 1. 10 times 1 is 10, so we have 1 tenth. We have a fraction now. Here, for 0 0.9, what we'll do is we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by 10 as well. 0 0.9 times 10, that's going to give us 9. 1 times 10 is 10. So with fractions, when you have the same denominator, just compare the numerator. 9 is greater than 1, so 9 tenths, that's greater than 1 tenths. And like we said up here, 0 0.9 and 9 tenths, they're the same thing. So 0 0.9, that's greater than 0 0.1. That's what we found before. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.